Okay, there it is. Put, uh, I got my magnets epoxied in here. And that works out great. You can feel the, the pull. And uh, uh, what I did was once I had that in there, I just gave this a light sanding to take off any high spots there. And uh, it, it turned out great. So uh, my old height gauge, I'm going to definitely keep it. Uh, I, I can still have some uses for that. So now, I, this is how this is going to work. I've got uh, my long extension in my, in my uh, dial indicator here. I could have shortened this up had I just used my standard short one here. So I, I could probably have added another hole and maybe shortened up the gauge by an inch. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. You, you'll, you'll have to build this the way uh, you want with your gauge. And, um, I'm happy with the way this turned out. So if I want to set a quarter inch high um, depth of cut for this, you know, two revolutions plus 50, and then right there. I mean, it's it, it's amazing how easy it is to adjust. You know, I thought there'd be some kind of uh, playing around, but I can, I can slowly tighten the knob and hold it in position and it just locks right where you want it to go. So it's, it's uh, really nice that way. Now the one thing I thought about <clears throat> after I made it was, uh, and if you'll remember we had that long cutoff. Um, I've got it here somewhere. Well anyway, uh, of this, the, you know this piece was the same length as this one. So I had extra pieces and I'm thinking I won't throw that away in case this gets dinged up somehow. But I also thought, what if you want to reach over and uh, get the height of something that, that you can't get to with this with this little thin piece right here? I mean, it's going to work fine on the table saw. You know, I can I can set my I can set my height with this, no problem. But what if I had uh, a router bit? that uh, you know I, I couldn't reach or for some reason couldn't get to, to it. So you wanted that like that ledge out here. So I took a piece, another piece of that and created this. This will also go in here and give you that platform to read off of. And the one thing I had to be careful when I was doing this was making sure that when this was tightened down, this stayed flush to the table. When I got done with it, I glued it, actually I glued it in place here. And when I got done with it, I eyeballed it this way and I was, there was, you know, a little, uh, a little bit of air here. So all I did was take it off and I sanded um, the back edge of this so that as you tighten it, it pulled it forward. It didn't take much. Uh, it probably took me about five minutes is all, a couple trips back and forth. But, uh, but that worked out great too. So I've got this attachment and this one. And they both do, do a great job. So let me get things set up here. I want to run it for, take a couple test cuts and see how it's going to work. First I'm going to use this piece here. Uh, you can see when I put it right back in, it goes, the dial indicator goes right back to zero. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this first. No, let me move there a little bit. Didn't I? There we go. So I'm gonna try this piece first, uh, setting my saw for a quarter inch deep uh, rabbit, and then uh, we'll measure with my, my my digital caliper and see how we did. So let me get things set up here. All right, I got a uh, piece of scrap. I'm gonna raise the blade up until it just kisses that board. There it is right 
there. Trying to get up. Right there. Well, I'm not worried about my about my depth of cut this way. This is just a trial cut, but let's see what we come up with here. Get some ear protection. Five six that time. Two five five. Okay, so let's try the uh, let's try this piece. See what kind of reading we get with that. I'll be a little further back on the table. Gotta reset the uh, indicator to zero. Thing you want to make sure of when you're doing this too is that you got a nice clean table. You know you don't have a bunch of breadcrumbs floating around underneath underneath things. So we'll put it down, zero it out. There, dial it up. Two fifty. It might only be one fifty. Hang on a second. Zero. One. Two fifty. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take my miter gauge out of the air, ground my blade down again. Let's see what we come up with this time. running stuff through like this, the amount of pressure we put on here can, can change things as well. We're measuring off of this surface, our board gets tipped down or pushed down hard, which I tend to do. You're going to take a little more off than you want. Alright, let's just try this one.
Now I'm not showing that to you because it's favorable, but I'm going to do it again. That was 251. Pretty good. And that time, I didn't push down quite as hard on my board, so that might have had some effect on the other one. 252. That is going to be wonderful. So, there you have it. Height adjustment gauge. For uh, a little enough, really, I've already had my caliper, and I just basically built a holder and a magnetic base. So, the one thing that I was going to tell you too is that this base could probably be made a little bit bigger if you wanted, and then you could drop in a mag switch back here and use that, uh, which would be a, a nice uh, solution as well. So, thanks for watching.